Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Jess in La La Land. So, um, this is one of a series of videos you're going to get over this weekend. <clears throat> Excuse me. This one is a book haul video. I have so much. I have a full stack in front of me. I have a full bag beside me. I've bought so much stuff. That's why I'm behind. I am doing one big one. I kind of want it because I knew I, I, if you've watched my previous video, you know, I flew all the way to Oklahoma for a little book event and um, wanted to wait until I got back with books from that because I knew I was coming back with some. So let's just jump right into it. Why not? I'm going to save this good thing for last. So some of these are from McKay's. Some of these are new buys from Barnes and Noble. So let's jump in. Um, I'm a, if it looks good and I've heard of it, I'm just going to get it. Um, if it, if the cover looks interesting, I'm going to get it. If I think it's going to look nice on my shelf or if I need to finish it, I'm going to get it. So some of these might not make sense to you guys. They just look cool. So let's start with first one. Um, it is by Natasha Gann. One, I'm not sure. I don't want to be a horrible person and mispronounce. It's called Girls of Paper and Fire. It is, um, I've heard really good things about it. It is a really nice cover. Um, I really enjoy the under the book jacket. It's got a cool design on the front. Um, it's em embossed. Is that how you would say that? I'm not sure. Um, and I see a lot more of these James Patterson Presents books coming, and I've not done any research on that, but I assume it's James Patterson is like, hey, you're an author, you do cool stuff, let me help you put out a book. So, um, and this one I got at McKay's, and it is a Barnes & Noble exclusive, so there's some extra stuff in here, so that's pretty cool. Excited about that to actually get into it and see how it is, because I've heard some good things, and I'm pretty sure there's a sequel, or there is one coming can't remember sorry my cat's running around doing stuff and making noise um this one is silly I read this probably in middle school very very early high school I had all of them found the last one it is the daughters of the moon series I needed the last one found it it was one dollar so just a nice little pickup and I'm hoping all of these stickers come off easily McKay's likes to put them right in the middle of the book and not, you know, on the back on the actual barcode that they came with. So that stinks, but I don't work there. Next up, we're going to go with the Fantastic Beasts and where to find them. Original screenplay. Um, I did not intend to pick this up when it dropped. Um, it's just, I'm a collector. I have so many Harry Potter books. I have some UK editions. I definitely have house editions, so that's pretty fun. Um, and this one has a little Niffler on the inside. It's super cute. He likes to steal your jewels and love it. I wonder if there's anything on the back. Let's look. No, nope, there's nothing. Um, but, you know, this is cute. Um, I like to have script books. I have Downton Abbey script books. They're really cute. And it was only six bucks. That's not that bad. So, super fun Harry Potter stuff. Yay! I'll always buy Harry Potter. Uh, next is one um, a girl at work has told me about quite a bit, and I hear a lot about it um, through the community. It's called The Diviners by Libba Bray. I have read some short stories of hers, and I really enjoyed them. Um, so I'm excited about this. It's a really chunky book. The print is pretty small. So this is going to be fun, uh, you know, when I have time to actually jump into it. My TBR is longer than a house. And I'm going to die on the Twilight train. Loved Twilight. Um, I jumped on the hipster Twilight sucks train for a long time. But then I'm like, you know what? Let's own it. Twilight's hilarious. Whatever. I found this at McKay's and just thought it would look silly on my shelf. It's the Twilight graphic novel. <laughs> so funny. I mean, look at this. Look how silly. I love it. I am in love with this. I'm going to read this because I think it's so funny and I hope there are more because this says volume one I want all of them this is gonna be awesome and I know I revealed these in my house of night um other world video but I did pick up all three of the other world books while I was in Oklahoma um these are brand new I did get loved autographed by Kristen and PC cast and I don't know if you can see this but the covers have 
like this really neat filigree like their tattoos and it's shiny can't really see it but it's really neat i love the covers the insides of them are red um and this one is now autographed with my name on it so that's really fun to add to my autographed collection and so i've got all three of those much excitement and um, I'm going to go ahead and reveal the super fun thing because I have a full other bag down here to get to with you guys. So I'm going to make some room real quick. And then um, I have something fun that I have not even been able to mess with yet. So, all right, let's jump into, um, I picked up the Embers of Memory game by Sarah J. Mass. It's a Throne of Glass game based in the last book. So if you've not read them, you really shouldn't play this. Um... It's a two-player only game, so you've got to have someone else who's read it, um, but this is absolutely gorgeous, and I'm going to show you just a few of the little cards. I don't want to spoil anything for anybody because I know that sometimes you just want to look at things yourself, so let me find the Aelin card. Um, well, I'll just do the two main character cards. You play as Aelin, and you play as Rowan, so here is... Aelin. It is so cute. I love the art. The only art I love better is Charlie Bowwater. And this is definitely not Charlie Bowwater's art. Um, it's Kuro, I think is what, what you call that. Um, and then here is Rowan. And I think they did so good. They're fairly right on how I imagined them. Um, and I will tell you who else is in the deck, which um, I know a lot of folks are upset that um, some people are not included. I uh, like, um, okay, so let's just go through. There's Dorian, uh, Kale, Nehemia, Lysandra, Elide, Manon. I love Manon Blackbeak. What a character. Um, Evelyn, which is, um, uh, blah, 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 words, which is, uh, Aelin's mother. There's Rowan. There's Irene, which, I mean, Irene's not even a super huge character until the seventh book. So I'm a little surprised she's in there. Um, and then there's Ro, which is her father. So I know a lot of people are upset that, you know, there's no Adian. Um, he's not that integral into her story. Like, oh, I don't want anybody to be mad at me. I love this series so much. So... But I do wish there was also an Adian card. I would love to see some some Adian art. Adian and Aelin are obviously top tier characters. So, <clears throat> all right. Sorry for the crinkling. Husband and I went and did some shopping, of course. And so some of these might be his. We're gonna find out in a minute. Some of these came from Barnes and Noble. Some of these came from Half Price Books. All right, let's start with Earth movie. There's a movie in here. Sorry, guys. Um, I picked up Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. This is from McKay's. So there's probably some other McKay stuff mixed in here as well. So I picked this up. It was six bucks. Um, thought it was cute. Obviously not as good as the book. So um, got this one at McKay's. Really silly. Um, I'm taking French next semester at college, so getting myself a head start uh, in remembering my high school French, which was 12 years ago. So I got that, and then continuing in that same strand, I got 15-minute French, learn in 12 weeks. Um, so this is really going to give me a step up so that I can pass college, guys. All right. So, some more McKay's and some more half price books. Do, 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 do. Flipping these all around. Okay, I picked up some more House of Night because I'm trying to get my collection finished. I do own them all ebook style, um, but I, there are a lot of things that I want physical copies of to have in my personal library. So, I picked up Burned and Awakened. Super great. Love Stevie Ray. And if you guys aren't aware, all of the hardback jackets actually have art on the inside. So this is supposed to be a Zoe and Stevie Ray. And then maybe Aphrodite in the background. I can't remember. Um, but yeah. So all of the hardbacks have, have something on their book jacket. <clears throat> and... Da -da -da. Perfect. So pick those two up. I 
only need three more, I think, in this to complete these, having them all in hardback. And then I need all of the little ones, except for the fledgling handbook, which I was able to pick up. Um, super fun. There are some things you can write in here. That's pretty neat. So, got this little shoot off that they did. And um, there's some really neat art in here. I know there's some good lore going on. This is, I believe, um, talking about tattoos on vampires. This is pretty neat. So that's going to be fun to get into because they reference the fledgling handbook quite a bit in the in the series. All right, just got a couple more for you. Uh, first up, I've got two Serenity graphic novels. Um, love this series. I could not adore a show any more than this I think so saw these just picked them up on a whim three bucks each they'll they'll go good in my my little comic book collection <clears throat> and then I picked up the smell of other people's houses I've heard lots of great things about this um, another booktuber that I watch quite often has mentioned it several times um, and it's set in Alaska. You don't see that very often. I love settings that you don't get a lot. Um, like I, I know I read this book and I can never remember the name of it. So I'm going to give it to you. You guys tell me what it is. My mother's boyfriend way back when I was maybe 12 or 13 had me read this book when we were living in Florida about Seminole Indians who quite, quite have lived mostly in the Florida region. That's literally all I've got. It was um, just a local story. We were living in Tampa at the time. I cannot remember what this book was called. And in my head, I keep picturing a yellow book. But I'm not sure. So if you guys have any Florida local books about Seminoles um, and also, um, you know, how they they interacted at the time with uh, the white man. Let me know because I'm curious and I, I have the kind of brain where as soon as I see it and read a description, I'll know that's it. So let me know if you have any ideas what that could be. One more in this haul and then I have to go film another video uh, for my Illumicrate unboxing. This one, um, Chelsea Palmer has mentioned several times, uh, finally saw it at Barnes and had a 20% off label, so I picked it up. And it's the Unhoneymooners, and it's about a guru, um, a best man and a bride of a maid of honor who uh, end up going on a honeymoon together because the wedding doesn't happen. I am crazy excited about this. I don't often go for romance. Uh, now that I'm 30, I think I like romance, like adult romance, not just YA romance. So super excited. My TBR just got that much longer. I have four new ones on my Kindle. You guys, it's crazy. So pray for me. Send out good vibes in the universe for me. Have good thoughts. Whatever it is that you do, I have so many books to read, guys. So um, I hope you enjoyed this book haul. If you have any suggestions for how you'd like to see these videos lay out, give me a comment below. Um, and I know in about a month or two, I'm going to be doing a giveaway because this is also my joint craft channel. And I want to um, get you guys involved with <clears throat> both of that, whether you're just a booktuber, um, watcher for my book stuff, or if you're, if you watch some of my craft stuff, um, I want to get all of you guys involved. It's Christmas, so I'm probably going to give away a custom ornament. So like and subscribe. Um, the more likes that I have, uh, the better the ornament will be, I think. So I don't know. Haven't figured that out yet. So thank you. Make sure to like and subscribe. Bye.